scoreboard a little. I don't foresee any big problems. Do you not? Joe's also been after a new sign on the motel roof for a while now. Something that travelers can see clearly from the highway. As it happens, there's a hotel in town that's about to be torn down. Oh my god, are we gonna grab the sign from their place? Sign letters cheap, and a crane operator on the construction site opposite owes me a favor. Drive by there later to pick up the letters. But first, let's take care of the forecourt. I have a roller ready for you. So oh, no way! Start compacting. Dude, we get to use a roller? Oh, that's awesome! Man, this, this game has so many different types of vehicles that you can use. It's wild the amount of vehicles that you can actually, like, not only drive, but the different functions that they all have. All right, let's see. Yo, wait a minute. Oh, we just have to literally, like, compact down the gravel in this, in this entire parking lot? Okay. Do they... Wait a minute. Do we have to turn it on? Because it doesn't seem like it's doing anything. Hold on. Because it still says 0%. You would imagine that it would say at least, like, 1% or something. And you would also imagine that something would visually change. But it isn't changing. Okay. I feel like there's something we're missing here. Let me go ahead and... Let's see. Ah, you have to activate the compacting function. I... Yep, that's what I thought. Compacting on... There we... Yep, that makes sense. Knew there was something we were missing. I do love the way it's set up, though. It's really, really satisfying to use. This is probably one of the most satisfying things I've done in the entire game so far. Ooh, easy. This is right up there with, like, games that let you mow grass in terms of, like, satisfaction. Dude. I'm trying to make sure to get these corners as nicely as I can. I don't want to leave a bunch of, like, unfinished corners around the place, you know? Back it up. Swing it around. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are enjoying this game and if you would like to see more. All right, let's go ahead and rotate the camera around because otherwise all we're going to be looking at is hotel. All right, we do need to keep a close eye on this spot right up here. So let's ease it on up to that edge. And that's about good. So we'll back you on up. And then rotate the camera and bring it back on around. It's not necessarily, like, super difficult, but it is extremely satisfying. Now, we'll get that corner piece in a moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually turn this thing around. I know it's going to be a little bit messy, but that's fine. I'm not really too worried about it. So, I'm going to actually just drive out of the work area. Turn around out here, because, yeah, compacting disabled. I figured it would do that. And then we'll get that little kind of sliver that's on the side over there um, once we finish up the rest of it. You kind of almost treat it like you would treat a field in Farming Simulator, like if you go to plow a field or something like that, but it's not really that big of a deal. Like, it's not necessarily, like, really hard to do. It's just something you have to make sure you're paying attention while you're doing it. All right. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, context menu. Engage compacting function and bring it back on down the other way. Not bad. I really do enjoy this. This is, like, so satisfying. It is so incredibly satisfying to do. And I feel like it's it's not something that you can directly relay how satisfying it is until you get to experience the satisfaction of doing it yourself. All right, let's ease you on around. And it's probably going to be iffy about that. Well, actually, it let me compact some of that gravel that was right out there on the edge. So maybe that does count towards the progress in this space. That's kind of neat if it does. All right, let's swing you back around the other way and run you back on down. Not bad. What are we up to now? Like 66% complete? Wait a minute. Why is that like completely off? Oh, I see why. Because we haven't had the chance to actually drive up to that edge yet. That makes sense. I was wondering why it was off like that. All right, we're good there. Back it on up once again. And, oh, wow, they really do want you to get right up to the corners, don't they? I also wonder if this is, like, something where they want you to have 100% completion on it. Also, apparently, uh, those stakes are not quite as, uh, threatening as I thought they were. All right. Yeah, you can drive through the stakes. That's no big deal. All right. Compacting disabled. That's A-OK. -okay. 
We'll finish that little sliver on the side a little bit later. We're just going to have to turn around and finish this right here. All right, so engage compacting function. Make our way back down. This will probably be one of the simplest parts of the entire thing. So we'll get this all done. And it's, it's wild that this is like 90% already. I have a feeling that 100% isn't necessarily going to be 100% of the gravel, but... That we'll have to wait on. We'll have to wait on and see. Oh, yeah, definitely not. 98, 99. Oh, man, that last 1% is going to require me to turn around. That's hilarious. I kind of figured it was going to do something to me like that, but is that 100% yet? No. Jeez, really? Oh, that, there it is. Note of favor owed, stage complete. All right. Let's go ahead and disable the compacting. We're going to get out of the roller. And apparently we got to get back in the truck. Where's the truck? Oh, it's down there on the other side. All right, let's go. Hop back on in. And all right, so construction stage B, crane work. Now drive to the Monument Hotel and get the letters so we can remount them here. This is going to be fun. See you later. Oh, God. When they're like, oh, this will be fun. I get a little nervous because I'm like, oh, what kind of, uh, what kind of challenge does it have in store for me now? Let's see. No way! There's a donut place? Oh, please tell me that there's some, like, jobs and tasks involving the donut place later on. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited for that. I'm so excited to see if that's actually a thing. I gotta see in a future episode if we can actually go off-roading and go up those mountains over there in the background. I doubt you can, but I would love to find out. Alright, let's make our way on up to... Wow, dude, you can, like, you can really haul... In this game, when you get going, yeah, you can really start hauling with it. That's not bad. Oh, dude, this scenery is so pretty, too. I wonder how this thing handles around these corners. Oh, it actually will start to understeer on you. That's pretty realistic. Like, the tires will get to a point where they will start to... Un oh, my God, bro. Look at that view. Yo, this map is so much bigger than I thought it was. Holy smokes! That's incredible. That is absolutely freaking incredible. And it's beautiful, too. It is absolutely freaking gorgeous. Like, I did not think the map was going to be that big in any way, shape, or form. Right, let's make our way up. Whoa! See? I completely just, like, the front end just completely lost grip. And I blew out of the lane with understeer. It is nice that they have some realistic driving dynamics in the game, though. I really like that. All right, let's make our way on down. Yo, we got, like, a supermarket over here. That's super neat. Whoa. All right, now, what is that? Sunny Haven and Dusty Peak. Interesting town names. Yo, is that a skate park? Bro, I'm going to totally take a machine in there later. <laughs> oh, that's going to be so sick. How far do we have to go? Man, this is, this is like, actually a lot deeper and a lot more intricate than I thought it was going to be. Genuinely, though. Oh, look at the gorgeous river, too. All right, let's make our way on down to where we need to be. Almost there. Red light? What is that? I am, I am not stopping. Nope. Nope. Uh-uh. Nope. <laughs> not happening in the slightest. Okay. They better let us in here. Oh, oh yeah. No, we're fine. And... Wow. Instead of... Bro. Instead of... <laughs> instead of five guys, it's six dudes. That's amazing. Oh, that's that's hilarious. Go ahead and get parked up. Uh, I said go ahead and get parked up. Bro, I've parked. What are we doing? Maybe we're just, like, not positioned right. Almost there. Yep, zero meters. And now it should activate. Yep, there it is. Okay, as soon as you drive in when it says zero meters, then it activates and you're good to go. All right, Monument Hotel. And apparently, no way. Enter the tower crane? Dude, I'm... All right, I'm excited. This is sick. This is so sick. All right, so go ahead and enter. Wow, that didn't take very long to climb to the top of. <laughs> All right. This, I feel, is going to be a little bit more... Um, 
in depth. So we gotta snag these letters. Um, all right. Well, I think we're gonna do this, uh, without the... Yeah, we're fine, right? Rotate, move trolley, rotate hook. Nah, it can't be that. It can't be that difficult, right? What's the worst that could happen? Oh, easy. How do we move the hook down? Seriously? It's that easy? Oh. Oh. That ain't bad at all. Move it on down. Down, down, down. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, oh, oh, I see, I see. Move it back up. And A. All right, we're on it. And now we got to, oh, yep, give me your letter. Come on. Now load all five le letters onto the loading area of the flatbed truck. Oh, God. All right, well, let me find the flatbed truck. Hang on. The flatbed truck is way down there. Like, way, way down there. All right, now, let's lower this down, because we're going to need to lower it down in order to see where we're going, right? All right, almost there. And, oh, this won't be too bad. At least I don't think it'll be too bad. Nearly there. Back, back, back. Back, back. <laughs> this is moderately terrifying. Oh, really? This way. Thank you. Oh, dude, thank God it auto-loads it. All right, bring the hook back up. This is going to be a process for each one of these letters. But thankfully, I think I'll be able to kind of get in a rhythm with it as we're going along. All right, so move this out. I do like how the camera kind of works with you as you're setting the tower crane up. Almost there. Almost, almost. Boom! Boom! See, okay, that's not actually too bad. Like, that's pretty simple. All right, we went ahead and snatched that one. Now we can go ahead and start lowering it down. Yeah, once you get really accustomed to this process, it won't be bad at all. Yeah, you totally got this. Boom! Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm actually kind of feeling it now. I, I, I feel like we have a pretty good handle on this now. Oh, up, 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 up. <laughs> Maybe we don't. We did until I thought we did. All right, bring it in. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. I just let it swing into position, and I was like, it's going to grab either the T or the... Oh, God, the T almost exploded. Okay. <laughs> the T almost was like, yeah, no, we're not doing that. All right, down it goes, down it goes, down it goes, almost the whoa, easy. Down it goes. T, boom. I'm really glad they don't make you, like, exactly position it. It definitely goes a long way to the fun factor of the game, because you're not having to worry about, like, being millimetrically perfect, you know? All right, bring the hook right into where it needs to be. Nearly there. Oh, jeez. All right, and swing it into position. I said swing it into position. Maybe, sort of, kind of, possibly. Oh, my. Go where I... You almost had it. Yep, there it is. <laughs> that took a second. Oh, my. Dude, that took way longer than it should have taken. And it took a lot more swinging the hook around than it should have as well. Almost there. My question is, once we get back to the motel, are we going to have to unload each one of these individual letters? We probably will, knowing how this game works and knowing sort of the context of it. We probably will have to do that. All right. Nearly. Whoa, God. Bring it back up. Up, 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 up. Oh, easy. And. Come on. Down. Why is the camera not zooming in on the letter? There we go. So you just have to get within a certain range of it. All right, we got the L. We got exactly everything that we need now. Man, uh, we really robbed these letters off the hotel, didn't we? Oh, that's, that's great. That's freaking delightful. All right, let's bring you on down now. Almost. Oh, God. 
gonna say, almost there, but not quite. Here we go. There we go. Almost there. And boom! Not bad. All right, let's hop out of the tower crane. Man, that's the that's the quickest I've ever seen somebody climb down from the top of a tower crane. <laughs> oh, man. I love that cat, too. Like, that cat looks awesome. All right, let's hop on in and follow the markers to reach your destination. I am getting a lot more used to the camera now, and I really like how you can switch between camera mode and drive mode. That's, that's probably one of my favorite functions, uh, actually, of vehicle operation in the game. All right, let's see. Are we turning right here? Oh, we're making a big loop back around to where we originally came from. I gotcha. I would stop there, but there's no traffic, so I'm not going to really worry about it. Yep. Nope. Not going to worry about it. Not in the slightest. Now, let's see. We'll pull up on here at the stop sign. Man, I wanted to try to lock the tires up, and it was like, nah, we're not going to do that. No tire lock up for you. No formula drift in your cat flatbed. <laughs> All right, we got to make our way back on up the hill into the small town. Okay, yeah, that's what I figured you had to do. Man, just knowing, like, where the small town is plus, like, this massive city, I'm sure that once you get further along in the game with the progression, there's going to be so many jobs to do. So many jobs. It's easy back on up. It's so satisfying, too, like... Once you... Alright, watch out for that catastrophic understeer. I already got a little bit of it. You can, you can even see the tire smoke coming off of the front tires. It's little details like that that I love about this game. Stop sign? Who needs those? Yep, moving on right on down the road. Don't, don't even worry about it. It's fine. Falling rocks? From where? Probably the ones that, like, your buddy that wants to sabotage your delivery is, like, you know, about to throw at you from the top of the mountain. <laughs> Oh, you definitely can tell you're going up a steep grade, though. This thing really backs off the speed once you're uh, you're going up this grade. All right, so you do have vehicle health and vehicle fuel right down there. You can see it on the gauge, and I mean, it doesn't seem like the the like the fuel consumption is all that bad. I mean, we've been driving for a little while now, and it hasn't used up all that much. I mean, I wonder if vehicle uh, wear is a part of it, too. Like, not only would you have to repair if you crashed, but maybe, like, just in normal wear and tear, you might have to repair at a certain point as well. That's definitely something we'll have to look into um, at a slightly later date uh, later on down the road. Now, wow, we're only managing, like, 40 kilometers an hour going up this hill, which is kind of in the 20s, I think, in terms of, like, miles an hour. Somewhere in the 20s, I think. Man, that's actually pretty dang slow. I have literally been flat out the entire time coming up this hill. I have not lifted off the throttle, except for on a couple of very, very, very tight corners. Ow! Didn't mean to do that, and ironically enough, it doesn't seem like the vehicle maintenance meter moved at all, so maybe that's just the amount of mileage that you have on the truck, like, per repair that you need to make. Oh, man, I wonder if there's, like, jobs up on top of the mountains, like, buildings that need to be built on top of the mountains or, like, loads that need to be delivered up there. That would be really neat. Like, that would be so cool. I would love to try that stuff out. All right, nearly there, and... Oh, don't worry about me. Just, uh... Just doing a little bit of, like, curb jumping. Boing. Boing. We're fine. It's all good. And... Oh, what? Okay, I wanted to lock the brakes up again. Just, like, for the fun of it. How much you want to bet that they're going to make us use the mini crane on the back of this truck? I, I bet you they're going to do that. I would totally bet you they're going to do that. Oh, we're messing with the zoom a little too much. And... What? Oh, you have to park, like, directly in the middle of the square. Some of these are pickier than, than others, it seems. Boom. Okay. Now. Aha. Yep. Yeah, you bet we do. Okay. So let's see. Use the context menu to move the flatbed truck into function mode. Aha. That makes sense. Okay. And then now. How do we get that crane to kind of like come up out of the back of the truck? Uh, overview of all controls. Let's see. How do we... Camera, light, drive mode, reset. 
It's not going to be that. Nope. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. God dang it. All right. Well, uh, how do we, how do we start that? Is it bad that I'm like, no, that's the context menu again. Okay. I'm going to need help. Now, let's see. Um, to extend the crane hook, both booms must be fully raised with L and... Oh! Oh! Gotcha! So you have to do, like, an unfolding maneuver. Okay. That makes sense. Now, what doesn't make sense is how... Oh, yep, we're going to start with that. You know why? Because we got it into position, and I am not gonna... Oh, how do we extend? There we go. I was like, how in the heck do I extend this thing? Almost there. Can I rotate this, or... Is that not a thing? Oh, we must be able to, right? Oh, well... Turns out we don't have to. Okay, I mean, I'm not against it if we don't have to do that. So we'll bring this back in, or or we won't. Oh, is it that slow? Oh, it, it, it's just that slow. Okay, so now bring it back down and bring it in. And now we're going to grab our next letter. Fold, retract, fold, fold. Oh, God. Yep, that went well. Okay, got it. It doesn't really matter that we're doing these out of order because, I mean, once we get these into the position that we need them to be in, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be really a big deal. All right, keep it moving. Keep it moving. Oh, well, close enough. All right, bring it back in. I do wish that some of the cranes moved a little faster, but, well, I say that, and then they literally start moving faster, so I don't know if it's just, like, me calling the crane out or something. How do I get that one? That one's gonna be a really tight angle. Like, a really tight angle. Move it up. Move it back. Oh, my God. All right, yeah, that's a super tight angle. I don't even know if, like, I would normally want to lift it from an angle that's that close. You know what I mean? All right. We got the E to sort out this time. And send it. Yep, you heard me. Send it. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. And boom. There she goes. All right. Now, if we could bring this back in without having it freak out on us. Oh my god. Come on. Come back in. In. In you go. Yes. In. In you go. There you go. All right. Last two. Last two. Move the camera. I do love how you can do that with the camera. It, it helps so much in lining things up. Like, lining things up is so much easier now because of that. And yoink. Got him. Starting to get the hang of it a little bit better now. It is so satisfying, though, when you get everything, like, all positioned where you want it. It's interesting, too, how it's, it, it seems to speed up. Like, the more you... The more you extend or retract the boom, the faster it goes. It, which is very interesting. Alright, bring you back in. And then maybe if I can get it to... Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. That's how I get it to go where I want it. Got it! Okay, yeah, we're definitely getting the hang of this. I'm having a much easier time with it now. Alright, fully extend, fully extend, fully extend, and... Nearly, 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 and... Boom! Done! Alright, automatically reset the loading crate by pressing the... Ah, okay. Beautiful. And switch back to drive mode. Gotcha. Not bad at all. Clear the construction site. What does that mean? Uh, like legit, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. Uh, what if we get out of the... 
clear the construction site. Does that mean we just have to like pick up the um like the barriers and stuff like that? Or does that mean something else? Can we talk to you? No. Okay. Well, I don't know what clear the construction site means. And nothing is highlighted on my map. Like, legitimately, nothing at all is highlighted on my map. And driving out of here... Oh, okay. So that you literally just had to drive out. Okay, now we gotta speak with... Now we gotta speak with the dude. Okay, perfect. Oh! I didn't realize I could jump up onto the back of the truck. That's super neat. All right, we're going to go ahead and speak with the dude real quick. Old Joe won't believe his eyes. The entryway looks better than when this place opened 30 years ago. You did an excellent job. Not bad. The recycled neon signs are working perfectly. You can finally see the motel from the highway. I'm sure it will start attracting tourists again. Do you have another minute you can spare? Then sure, let's the why not? In town. Someone else there needs our help. Sweet. I am down.